So I can finally hold Shroud Tan with the new Logitech G303 mouse here, and I can finally be one with Shroud. Well, minus his aim. So can this be your new endgame mouse? or is it just overpriced with the shroud tax on top of it? I've never used the original G303, so this is from someone who's first time experiencing that G303 shape. It's a very unique shape, and my two current mouse that I'm comparing it to are the Model O wireless that I use for my competitive shooters, and then I use the Model D wireless here for my everyday tasks and activities. So in the box, you're gonna get Shroud's hand, well, I mean the mouse itself, and then you're also gonna get a USB-C connector now this connector isn't the best cable that I've seen from other companies such as Glorious that uses a paracord and I think that one is a lot better than the one Logitech provided here but I'm glad that Logitech is finally switching over to USB-C with their mouse hopefully with the new Logitech uh, G Pro Wireless they switch over to USB-C as well. Now I know it may not be a big concern for many people like oh Terry you can just use a regular micro USB-C like yes I can but at the same time, I like to use just a single cable for all my electronics and I don't have to switch in and out for a different cable anytime I need to charge them. You also get the dongle for the wireless connection and a sticker from Logitech and then the rest is just paperwork. Since this is a collaboration with Shroud, I would have loved to see more into this unboxing experience because to be honest, it was pretty underwhelming. I mean, I wish there was a more theme oriented box. Like yes, the Shroud box itself is very nice, but then inside, I wish there was actually the shroud pouch that actually he talked about on a stream that you could use to put your mouse in if you're traveling. And I think that was an add-on to the mouse itself and there's a $10 add-on. I mean, a mouse at this price point, you could just give us the bag for free to be honest. And I wish there was maybe like a shroud sticker, not just a Logitech sticker, that would have been nice as well. So I really wish this unboxing experience would have been a lot more unique because it was a collaboration with shroud. So if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. It's gonna help with this channel a lot. And also I can continue buying products to help review for you guys in the future. In terms of specs, the mouse has the same Hero 25K sensor that's on the super light, as well as their light speed connection. It also has a 145 hour battery life, which is amazing, but kind of a given since this mouse doesn't have any RGB. I've yet to charge the mouse and I've been using it for almost two weeks now. The mouse weighs in at 75 grams and I wish they would have reduced this weight closer to that of the super light because at the end of the day you're spending $130 and I wish you get a better experience in terms of having a lighter mouse especially when it comes to gaming. So the mouse uses Armron switches which feels fine to me but after experiencing kale switches on the Model D wireless I do find them to be more satisfying to click. The build quality on this mouse is pretty solid I mean I have yet to experience any creaks whatsoever like I'm squeezing this mouse pretty hard on the side on and on the top and bottom I shake it and there's no sound or rattle whatsoever. So the skates on this mouse are subpar. I don't think they're amazing, but at the same time, I don't think they're terrible. But I do wish that Logitech would have used better skates in the future with their mouse. The mouse has a transparent finish on the sides, which is pretty cool and gives it a unique look. The smooth finish on the top of the mouse will leave you with some fingerprints whenever you get sweaty with your game. So just be aware of that if you are a sweaty gamer. And all the buttons on the side of the mouse and on the top of the mouse, they all feel great. They're not mushy. The scroll wheel isn't my favorite. It just doesn't feel smooth when using it. I prefer the scroll wheel on my Glorious mouse much more. And the DPI button is nice to have so you don't have to go into the software to change the setting whenever you need to switch. And here's a sound test of the buttons on this mouse. So if you're traveling with this mouse, there is a compartment in the back that allows you to store your dongle which can be convenient for some people, but I just find it unnecessary and it just added on to the overall weight of the mouse. So what makes this mouse unique is the shape itself. It's a very polarizing shape, so you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And I'm glad I didn't do a video right after my initial impression of using the mouse because I would hate it. He would have got a different video from me and I'm glad I gave it the time that it needed so my hand can adjust to the mouse because you would have got a totally different video if I would have done the video and review of the mouse right after I opened the box. When it comes to gripping this mouse, there's only one type of grip style you can use and that's an aggressive claw grip. You can use a palm grip, you can use a fingertip grip, and that can be a pro or a con for some of you depending on what your grip style is like. And I have a small to medium sized hand and it really locks you into this type of grip where you have to place your fingers in these specific spots on the mouse or it's just not gonna work for you. And I'm barely meeting that requirement with the size of my hand. And if you have a larger hand, you'll probably have an easier time. But if you have a small hand, this mouse is probably not for you. So after testing the mouse, does it actually make me a better gamer? 
and do I shoot better? Do I aim better? And I currently play Valorant in the D3 to Immortal lobby. And to be honest with you, at first it was very difficult to use this mouse in the aggressive claw grip because my aim was pretty stiff. I'll pull up some clips here of me shooting with this mouse when I first used it. It was so awkward because my aim was just very stiff. I just didn't want to move my crosshair and I was not fast enough to move to the target and make those adjustments when needed to. But once I got comfortable with the mouse, I felt like I had more control because it allowed me to stay more focused when I'm playing the game in comparison to when I'm using the Mono O wireless, which allowed me to have a relaxed claw grip. So at times when I'm just holding an angle for a really long time, I get zoned out and I just like stop focusing. But when you're using this mouse, it kind of forces you to focus because of that aggressive claw grip and it gets you in that game ready state. So whenever you're playing any competitive shooter, you need to stay focused. So if you are a claw grip user, I think once you give enough time, this mouse might be your end game mouse. It might be that perfect mouse for you to help you climb the ranks or just get over that hump and just give you that little competitive edge that you're missing. Because of the aggressive hump on this mouse, there's really no downtime when you're using it. You need to stay focused in and it doesn't allow your palm to relax. So overall, this mouse is a great mouse if you're a claw grip user. However, I don't see myself using this mouse as an everyday mouse because of the aggressive grip style that you need. So I can't really relax when I'm doing other tasks on it. So if you're an individual that just wants to use this mouse for gaming, I highly recommend it. If you are a claw grip user, this is what I call a game day mouse, like that secret weapon that you want to pull out when you want that competitive edge. This is the mouse for it. But for everyday activities, I probably wouldn't use this mouse because the grip style is just not relaxing at all. And you'll probably get fatigued from just using it for so long. In terms of the price of the mouse for $130, I think it's a little overpriced. Now, if this mouse was at $100, I would tell you to go get it right away, especially if you're a claw grip user. However, if you're unsure about what grip style you wanna use, then I recommend you to just go with a super light because right now it's the holiday seasons. You can find the super light for $130 on sale. So if you're unsure about the grip and you wanna have that adjustability of what grip style to use, uh, for different tasks, then go with the super light. So this will be my end game mouse for now in terms of using it for competitive shooter. Let me know down below if you think this mouse is actually worth the price tag and what's your favorite grip style that you like to use. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already and make sure you subscribe down below for future tech videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.